In this video, we will look at the basic Photoshop tools and learn how to use them with a specific example. After completing our series of videos Photoshop for beginners, you will be able to learn how to do cool works and even start executing freelance orders and make money on it. And now let's get down to business. Let's open Photoshop and create a new file. Now we're going to make such a banner. You can repeat all the actions after me with 1080, height 1300, resolution 300 pixels. Color mode, RGB color. Background content, white. Color profile, Adobe RGB 1998. Pixel aspect ratio, square pixels. And we are creating a new project. We will immediately add a prepared photo to the program. Just transfer it to the program. Where do we start? The first tool is to moving. Hotkey is V. We can take our object and move it. You can also enable the auto select function. Let me copy the photo for clarity. Make two objects. When we have auto select enabled, I can click on this layer and move it, or select this layer and move it. But usually I turn off auto select and select the layers here in the layer menu. For example, we are now taking this layer and moving it. And if we click on another one, we will still move the same layer. It's better to turn off the auto select function. It's not very conveniently implemented in Photoshop. If we need to emphasize and work with this object, Press Ctrl and choose that object with the mouse. Let's move on. The second tool is the selection. Hotkey M. We can allocate the area we need. For example, this one. Press Ctrl plus J. Hide the bottom layer. And we see that the selected area has been copied. So we can pour out the area. Hold down Shift and add additional areas that we might need. If we press Alt, we will have a minus. We will be able to delete unnecessary selection fragments. Press Ctrl plus D to the deselection. The next tool is the lasso tool. Lasso, it's also a single, so we can lead the mouse like this. And singled is what we need. Here we have singled out, press Ctrl plus J and hide the previous layer, so the area we have emphasized. Honestly, I hardly use lasso because it's not very convenient. There is a polygonal lasso tool here. It's the same lasso, only with curved lines. We can also single out something. Press Ctrl plus J. And we are copying what we have highlighted. Next is Magic Wand, Hotkey W. With its help, we can select the object we need faster. Click here, and we have an area, but not the way we need. Now hold down Shift and specify the areas to be selected with the mouse. For example, here, here, and here, and more here. We'll add it here. So, okay, now select Select Inverse. Press Ctrl plus J, and that's what we got. The next tool is the Crop Tool. The hotkey is C. If we need to reduce our layer, we do it like this. We shift the edges and make our layer smaller. For example, by the sizes of this picture. Next is the eyedropper tool. Hotkey is I. With the eyedropper tool, we can highlight the color and one we have in the picture and even beyond. And then use this color where we need it. Next tool. This is a spot healing brush tool. The hotkey is J. With this tool, we can remove or hide different stains. We zoom, see the stain, click on it, and hide it in this way. With this tool, we can also remove pimples, moles, and something else. So the next tool is the brush tool. The hotkey is B. There are brush settings at the top. Here we can choose the brush that suits us best. Here we choose the size of the brush, the bone hardness, and here we choose a color. For example, black. And we can draw. This is where we regulate opacity. That is 100% opacity, 50% opacity, and minimal opacity. The next tool is the eraser tool. The hotkey is E. With eraser, we can erase something. Eraser is configured in the same way as the brush. The next tool is the Paint Bucket tool. The hotkey is G. We can choose the fill color here. For example, copy the background color. In this menu, select our layer with a background. Click here and the whole background is now filled with blue. The next tool is the Smudge tool. With this tool, we can blur, stretch certain faces. In this case, it's not appropriate. But I usually use it when I need to draw a glow to make a realistic light. So our next tool is the Dodge tool. With its help, we can lighten something on our composition. There is also a Burn tool. Burn tool is dimming. We dim in the same way as it was lightened before. If we need to darken any element of the composition, we use the Burn tool. Our next tool is the Pan tool. The hotkey is P. We will use the Pan tool very often for cutting. For example, points are created that, if anything, we can cancel by pressing Ctrl plus Z. You can also bend the lines between the dots. We put a period, hold, pull, and create a curved line. With this, we can more accurately select our object and cut it out. Let's cut out this object. 
There will be monotonous work now, so I'm speeding up the process. Okay, now that we have allocated everything we need, we connected the first point to the last one. Now right click on the empty space, make selection, okay. Now we have shown what we have highlighted. So here is our main layer. Now click here and create a mask. So we cut out what we need, but we still have a few blue areas here, here, and with glasses. So now we need to cut them out with the pan tool. Right click again, make selection, and OK. And on a black background, we take the brush tool. We make opacity 100%. The brush size is slightly reduced. And now we close it with black color so that everything disappears. So we were now drawing on our mask to hide background elements. Select the pen tool again. I'm highlighting this area. Right click, then make selection, and then OK. Choose a mask and color it with a black brush. Here, with the help of a pen, we do the same work. And on our mask, we're coloring it with black again. Done. So we cut out the man. Now I want to put it somewhere. I click on our photo, then Control plus D, and by pressing Alt, I enlarge it. And I put it like this. Now select the background and select Paint Bucket Tool from the menu. Let's pour black color. The next tool, we have the Text Horizontal Type Tool. The hotkey is T, writing live stream. Select our text by clicking Control plus A. Let's go in the text settings and capitalize it. Now select our text, press Control plus D, and with the Alt clamped, we stretch it to this size. Now I'll put a photo above the text so that it's like this. Still, I'll take a little more photos, and a little to the right. Let's create another text. Take the text tool, hotkey T, choose a smaller font size, semi-bold. Here we'll write how to choose. Press Control plus A and make regular text in the settings, but we'll capitalize the first letter. We have a rectangle tool, shape tool. The hotkey is U. There is a rectangle, ellipse, triangle, polygon, line, and custom shape tool. We'll take a rectangle, choose its color, for example blue, and select the area we need. That's how it will be enough. We have created a figure, and now we'll fill it in. Click on this layer. We are creating the effect of this figure. We can create a glow in the outer glow section. Choose the color with which the figure will glow. I want to choose an inner white glow, here in inner glow. Let's make bland mode, screen. We also make size a little bigger, and opacity a little less. Click OK. Now we need to adjust the rectangle. I want to make its corners not so sharp. To do this, we need to add shapes to the settings menu. To do this, we go to Windows, Properties column. I'll add it here. Here's the settings section of our figure. Here you can adjust the corners so that they're not so sharp. That's it. We've rounded our corners. Let's lower our object a little lower. Something like this. And now we'll write text on top of this object. A career in 2023. Let's move a little aside. Highlighting how to choose, press Control plus T. How to choose is doing more. Something like this. And now clamp control, highlighting the text a career in 2023 and our figure, then press control plus G, i.e. group. We sign group one. And pressed control, also highlight the inscription how to choose and place these objects somewhere else. Great. I also want to write a date. Take the text again. The font will be regular. The size is eight point. And now let's write the date, 25th January, 7 p.m. And here we will place the date of the event. I want to move the figure with the text to the left and put it a little lower. We need to diversify the picture somehow. Create a new layer at the very bottom. Choose a blue color. Take a brush, hotkey B. We make the size bigger. And here we'll choose this brush, soft. The size is doing even bigger. Opacity, smaller. And draw a glow behind us. That's how we made a glow. Now let's go to Google. Looking for black interior. Let's take this interior, we save our image, transfer to Photoshop, put it on the background, Control plus T, and then clamp Alt to enlarge the picture. Now click here, select the curves section, then click Alt, and attach curves to the background, and we make the background darker. Now we're looking for Play PNG. Let's take this icon for example. Click Copy Image, go to Photoshop, insert by pressing Control plus V. We have a black background as you can see. Take Magic Wand, click on the black background, and click Delete. Our black background is being removed. Control plus D, deselect. Then press Control plus T. And we make a smaller picture. So let's place this icon, let's say, here. Yes, very good. Now I want to add particles PNG to the background. We are looking for which one we like. Let's take these particles. And here we insert it with Control plus V. So our particles have appeared. By pressing Alt, reduce, then we move the particles here. Let's return the picture like this. Pressing Alt makes the picture a little bigger. Let's put it like this. Press Screen, create a mask, take a brush and paint on a mask in black like this. Let's add a darker tone to the background. Create a layer. 
attach it to the background, and we darken it out. Now let's deal with our date. Let's make it in this format. Press Ctrl plus A. Let's make a size 14 and let's move it a little bit. Now we'll take our photo and create a curve. With Alt clamped, let's attach a curve to us and play with the curve to fit us in the background. Now let's create a new layer and attach it to us. Choose a blue glow as in the background. So let's add it here. Select the screen blending mode and we'll have a glow. That's all to fit us in the background. Create another layer by pressing Alt and attach it to the previous one. Let's take the blue color, but a little darker and put it here. Screen blending mode again. Now let's create a new layer. Just like that, we put blue. Screen blending mode. Press Ctrl plus T, then press Alt and put this glow like this. Let's find the old photo texture effect. Let's take this texture, copy it, come here, and insert on top of all layers. Press Ctrl plus T. With Alt clamped, we make a bigger picture. Screen blending mode, we reduce opacity, and place the texture this way. Now let's create a mask, and remove the texture from our body and face with a black brush. Then click Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus E. Our common composition of filter, camera, filter will be created. In the filter section, select Camera Raw Filter. And here we can adjust the colors and tones of our picture. I advise everyone to spin everything you see. First to the maximum, then to minimize to understand how it works, and figure out what's right for you. Everything is individual here. So our banner is ready. You can make money online by making such banners for customers. If the video was useful for you, please like it, subscribe to the channel and watch this video, because I think it will be very useful for you. See ya.